gonna get copyright struck for hard times. Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Patrick Height back again for a new exciting episode of Food Reviews for you. Thank you. That, of course, as always, my lovely wife, Margaret, off camera. And if you hear any other background noise, that would be my son, Justice, enjoying his food in the background. So anyway, today we are at Arby's, and we are going to try their okay, new Sunday. Cajun fish wrap. Okay? So... Without further ado, did I say that right? Adieu, adieu, adieu. Probably have a Cajun. Is that a Cajun's adieu? Okay, here's what we're looking at here. Whoa! All right, Let me adjust the old camera. All right. All right. There we go. Thank you. This is what we're looking at here. A wrap of some kind, maybe a wheat? Is that a wheat wrap? I don't know what that is. Looks like it. I'm gonna say it's a wheat wrap. Some of the fish fell out. And here's what the inside looks like. Ooh. There's quite a lot of Cajun fish inside, as well as lettuce, tomato, and I guess Cajun seasoning. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's a little piece the of the fish. It's got some sort of, uh, you know, Cajun spice on it. It looks like a cornmeal batter. So, can't go wrong with that, right? I guess. Although I'm more of a, uh, I don't know. It'd probably be good. I don't eat a lot of fish. But uh, this was new, and it intrigued me. And we're going to give it a shot. So, it's Arby's Cajun Fish Wrap. Let's give it a try. The fish itself, Is it good? it's very tasty. So, if I can get this wrap up here to, uh, okay, I'm going to go in for a bite with uh, the tomato and the lettuce and uh, some kind of sauce in there. Some kind of Cajun sauce in there. It might just be hot sauce. I have no idea. Well, let's go in for a bite. Mm. You like it? Yes. Yes, I do. Actually, this is quite delicious. Okay, we're going to trade off here. Tell me what you think, Margaret. The Arby's Cajun Fish Wrap. I have not seen a frown. That's a plus. I don't know what this tastes like. You don't know what it, why? There's barely any in there on the bottom. It's really spicy. So you like it or you don't like it's okay. it? okay. She said it's okay. I personally think it's quite tasty. So uh, let's go in for another bite and see if the second bite is as delectable and satisfying as the first. Is it as delectable as I find in the first? Even more so. As I talk with a mouthful of food. Even more so. <clears throat> this is a surprise. This is a breath of fresh air. Um, yeah, because the last Arby's review I did didn't go so well. We won't talk about that, although I just did. You can always go back and watch the previous Arby's episode. And you'll know what I'm talking about. But this, mm, this, if you like fish... If you like wraps, if you like wraps filled with fish, then this is probably going to sit pretty well with you, with the palate. It's got a kick, but it's not overpowering. It's not going to like make your face hot or your eyes water or your tongue numb or any of that nonsensical uh, jazz that happens when people overdo the hot stuff, the, you know, the extra this and that, you know, they want to burn their face off, they can't taste the food, this you can taste as it should be, you know, what's the point of indulging in a culinary creation if you can't really, you know, taste it, so, mm. 
Yeah. I don't have any more bread now. So I'm going to say, and I'm not a huge rap guy. I'm not talking about the music. Um, mm-hmm. There's some of that's pretty good. But um, I am talking about raps in general. I don't hate them. I just generally go for like a bun, a sandwich on a bun, you know. Uh, that's usually my usually you my like preference. I like buns, hun. <laughs> I guess I said it. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to give this a rating on a. S- <laughs> Please don't lose that butt. The buns. The buns, hun. Yeah. Anyway, uh, okay, on a scale of one to ten, which is generally what we do, is a one to five. It's been a while. Five. Okay, one to five. That simplifies things. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it a three, and the only reason I'm giving it a three instead of a five, the fish isn't super crispy, and with a lot of uh, wraps at times, you have the cold lettuce, the cold toppings, the tomato, and whatnot. It cools things off quickly, and that's what happened with this. It's cold now. It wasn't cold when I got it, but within a matter of minute, a minute or two, it became cold. So I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Now, what would you rate this? Uh, Arby's Cajun Chicken Wrap. Oh, I didn't eat enough of it. I say a one. She gave it a one. Wah, wah. No, I didn't really eat that much of it. She gave it a one. So if we were to combine that score, and I always say that even though we don't actually do that, it, it would four. be a four out of five, yeah. since that's not the case. So you basically... You, did you hate it? No, I didn't hate it. She did not hate it. I wouldn't order but it. But she didn't care enough to give it more than a one. Yeah. So it was just okay. It was acceptable. If somebody catered a party and had these on a tray, you would eat them. And if they had something else, probably not. But you wouldn't. No, this is it. That's This is all they have. It's a, yeah, yeah. a whole party catered with nothing but uh, Cajun like, wraps. And I only like think they get cold fast, so. No, that's true. But um, in this situation, I don't either. In this situation, though... I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna stick with my three. So, a three out of five uh, on the scale of one to five rating system that we use here on uh, food reviews for you. Better than half. Better than. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, I'm not gonna keep you. I wanted to make this one quick and effective, and I hope it was. So, if you're out and about and you have a taste for fish, maybe try Arby's. Cajun fish wrap. Come to Granite City. Come to Granite City. Come to that location. That's the one I ate at. I'm sure they all vary like most fast food restaurants. Come to this location. Tell them Sean sent you. And uh, there's a pretty good chance that they'll know who you're talking about because I come here way too much. Anyway, um, you guys try this. I hope you like it and have a blessed day.